dollar and a dream. All I had was my city and my team. And my team. Never had no money and no green. Yeah, still I'm getting it. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the fan club. It's your boy, D. Braz, Dan Brosnan in the building. So we have some awesome entertainment news today. We're a couple days late on this. I wanted to get a little bit more information on it, and it is confirmed. We are getting a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle reboot again. This time it's going to be another CGI movie, and Seth Rogen is on board for this one. Guys, I am beyond excited. If you guys know me, I love the Ninja Turtles. Um, about a year ago, we went up to Wisconsin Comic Con in Milwaukee. I got to meet all four of the original Ninja Turtles. Uh, Townsend Coleman, I got to interview... Barry Gordon, Donatello, I've met Rob Paulson several times, just actually got his autograph a couple weeks ago, um, these guys are awesome, and Cam Clark, can't forget Cam Clark, Leonardo, these guys were just amazing people, awesome, um, fan-friendly congoers, they are amazing, they do everything for the fans, you know, I would love to see the OGs get a part. Like, honestly, hit up Rob Paulson, one of the best voice actors we've ever had through the 80s, 90s, and today. Dude is just amazing. Now, let's talk about this a little bit. So, CGI Ninja Turtles. Now, we remember there was a CGI Ninja Turtle movie that came out in 2007. It was, it was, an, I actually liked the movie. Um, I don't think it did very well in theaters because obviously there wasn't a sequel. And then, as you guys know, about five, six years ago, we've got, uh, what was it, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Um, and that first movie was pretty good. Uh, some people weren't big fans of, like, the alien turtle look they were trying to go with. And then there was the sequel, which the sequel had so much potential. We had um, uh, s s yeah, Stephen Amell. Um, I hope I said that name right. Um, Amel, Emil, Green Arrow, baby, was uh, was in it, and it was he was supposed to be, you know, that bright spot of the movie. And I don't know that second movie. It just it just wasn't that good, man. And obviously the the numbers showed that they didn't get a sequel for it. But the first Turtles that came out, what 2013, 2014, that was actually pretty decent. Um, I would love to see it get another reboot, but let's do it right, guys. Let's let's do an OG, like 80s version Turtles. Now, obviously, we can use today's um, technology, make it newer, but let's give it that old school vibe. Great example. So I know they're rebooting the Power Rangers again, and they're trying to, they were saying that they want this to take place in the 90s or go back into the 90s, something like that. Power Rangers came out in the 90s. Let's give it some 80s vibes. Let's give it some nostalgic 80s vibes. Let's, let's have this take place in the 80s. 85, when the Turtles came out. Let's do something different with this story and brand. And you know what? You can say what you want about Seth Rogen. He's not that funny. Dude is a great producer. His name is on so many great movies and shows at the end credits that you don't even know he's a part of. This guy is talented, and I'm hoping, hoping that they can do it right. Seth Rogen is also a huge Ninja Turtles fan. He grew up on the Ninja Turtles, and that's what we want. When you have someone take a brand that you're fond of, you just hope that they love it as much as you do. Great example. So you guys remember Avatar, The Last Airbender, the movie that came out in like 2010? You could tell that that director, Sham, whatever his name was, he was just, ugh. You could tell he never watched Avatar and day in his life. Like he might have watched like an episode or something and said, oh, I can, I can make my own story. And it was bad. And it just wasn't a bad movie. It had nothing to do with the original show. Like, I'm sorry. Like, there were parts. Like, there were parts that had something to do with it when you watch the fight scenes. When you watch 
who Aang was in the cartoon and what they made Aang in the movie, you could tell, like, dude, you never watched not even one season of the show. And that's what we want. We want fans. We want somebody that loved it back when they were kids or not even when they were kids. Just so, like right now, I still watch Power Rangers, watch it when I was a kid, watch it now. Someone that actually appreciates the brand. And I'm hoping with Seth Rogen that one, you know, he's an older guy, not not super old, but not super young, meaning he grew up on Ninja Turtles. He's almost in his 40s. Pretty sure he might actually be in his 40s. I'd love to look that up. Someone tell me how old Seth Rogen is, by the way. And this guy grew up on it and he's connected. He has a lot of friends in the in in high places, meaning that he could get any voice actor he wants. Um, and he's actually connected with a lot of musicians too, meaning that we could get a sweet soundtrack. But honestly, I would love now. It's not realistic that they're going to bring back all four Ninja Turtles, like all four original Turtles, but I would love for them to show some love to the past Turtles. Even the voices of the original movie Turtles would be cool. Like, let's have some fun. Um, you guys remember, I think it was a Honda commercial a couple of years ago. They brought back the four original voice actors for a Honda commercial when they were like, I think it was a Christmas commercial and Ninja Turtle toys and they were kind of talking and it was awesome. I loved it. I love that stuff. Um, huge fan of nostalgia done right. Okay. I, I love a good movie that pulls on the nostalgia strings, but does it right. Okay. I am not a fan of people using nostalgia to grab us, and then it's not very good. Great example, the PlayStation 1 Classic. You know, it's not a movie, but the system, it was, it looked cool, but there was only 20 games in it. And uh, we have a video that shows you how to hack that and make it better. But same thing, guys. Don't be just pulling on nostalgia heartstrings, because people are going to come and see Ninja Turtles no matter what, because... Hundreds of millions of people are turtle fanatics, man. They, you'd be surprised how many people really love the Ninja Turtles. So no matter what, we're going to go, but we want some quality, guys. Great example, Power Rangers, the 2017 production um, feature film that came out in theaters. The fan, the Power Ranger fans supported that, and that's why they didn't really lose any money. But I don't feel like they made a good enough movie to bring in other people that aren't Power Ranger fans because that's that's the difference between a good movie and a bad movie or like you know um, a positive production than a negative production because you can have a good movie and it could still kind of bomb it's happened before honestly now Power Rangers didn't bomb it just didn't live up to the expectations with all the marketing and toys and everything that they made they wanted some more cookies in the jar and I I totally understand. Now, using that, sorry guys, man, got off work, I'm a little tired, but using that, we can now assess the, the new movie, Power Rangers and the new Ninja Turtle, and we can talk about both of them. Let's learn from our past mistakes. Let's use some nostalgia to bring in our, our loyal fans, but then let's make an awesome story that we can bring in today's children, today's adults, get everybody into it. And a, hey, you make a good movie, it's gonna happen, man. Great example, The Greatest Showman. The Greatest Showman, I mean. This movie, the first few weeks, it did not do good. But every single, it was the only movie I've seen ever that by like the last week, it like... Its numbers were like 10 times more than the first week because it was like, seems like every week someone was bringing like more people with them. Like, hey, you need to go see this. You need to go see this. And by the time it came out to DVD and Blu-ray, it was a hit. So yes, it can happen, guys. I believe in this. I believe in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as a brand. Um, I'm actually a fan of the newer show, Rise of, Ninja Tur uh, Rise of the Ninja Turtles. It's a little bit different. It's kind of like a Teen Titans Go TMNT show. But I like the direction they're going. They're still making turtles. Ugh, sorry, guys. They're still showing love to the turtles. And 
it's a decent show. It's not bad. It's a little different, but they're reaching to today's kids, and that's okay. You know, I bet our parents didn't love the Ninja Turtles when we were kids. Probably thought it was weird. Like, what, you're watching some Ninja Turtles show? So, I get it, guys. What do you think about this? We want to hear from you. Do you think Seth Rogen is the right guy? I believe so. I think this is going to be awesome. Are you excited about this movie? Do you think they should just stop? I mean, how many freaking movies do we have by Ninja Turtles? That's a lot. So are you guys kind of done? Are you going to go see it if it comes out? Let me know. Thank you guys for watching the fan club. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Like this video. We love you guys. We'll see you next time. Peace. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you guys enjoy this content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and check out our other content. Also, hit that notification bell to stay in the algorithm. Yo, if you support us, want to help us out, keep the fan club running, check out the new fan club t-shirts. We got one hanging here on our Square site. Go check out all of our other videos. We love you guys. Thank you so much for the support.